over in Rhino 3D. I use Rhino as my CAD program. My type of work that I do quite a bit of, I guess, has to do with, uh, it kind of sits right on the edge. It's in between art and it's in between CAD somewhere, and this is a good 3D program for that. So first we'll import our image that we've been working with. We're just going to preserve the units here, open it up. You'll see the design. This is a specific, excuse me, specific template that I use, and uh, so I kind of know the sizing. It's actually very small right now. It's one of the reasons that I use Rhino is to resize whatever it is I'm going to cut out. I come in here and you get a kind of precise sizing. So. Uh, talking with my buddy, it's going to be about a 9-10 inch size design that we're going to go with. So uh, let me start out by doing that. Probably the quickest and easiest thing you can do is just kind of make a perimeter. You'll see up here, other corner or length. Say so I do a 9. 9 by 9, we'll go with that. So that square that we have there is 9 inches by 9 inches. If we zoom in a little bit more, we can uh, center our design in there. We can kind of do a number of different things. One of them is scale. Probably what you are not seeing on your screen are a number of tool toolbars that I have over on, uh, I guess I have a dual monitor set up, so it's a little bit different, but uh, it's over off to the side, so at times my mouse is going to disappear and Really what I'm doing is going off and uh, picking a tool and then uh, I'll come back on and we'll resize it. So here I just have the scale and uh, we're going to scale up this design a little bit more. Just a notch or two. So we're going to use the scale for this design. Let me just kind of bring it down over to the edge here. I'm going to go off page, pick that. We're going to scale up this design just to make it a little bit bigger and uh, kind of bring it back down in there. Now usually when you're doing art parts and things like that, uh, it's not exactly perfect. You're always going to be off a little bit here or there just because of the way the design is. I'm going to shrink this down just a little bit more to make it fit inside this 9x9 nine nine box and uh, I'll be right back. There we go. Our design fits inside of that box now. That's not perfect when the design is uh, non-square. It never will be. But this is just kind of giving us a look at uh, what we're going to see when we cut out um, this on the CNC plasma cutter. So I just erased that square around it. Uh, let me save this out as a DXF file so we can use it. DXF files are kind of the standard as you're shuttling things back and forth here. I'll save that. Yeah, okay. And there we go. We've saved one out. This is just a look at the different uh, perspective views and whatnot that you can look at. So here's our top view. Here's a perspective view of that design. And front and right, really, you're just looking at a real thin edge at that point. But we saved one out. We go over here. Here's our DXF file. We're going to bring that into sheet cam and then start defining those machining parameters um, at that point.